Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well, it's melting off. I wonder if I could collect enough water coming out of that downspout, clear enough water to do a solar ignition. You know, I've got probably 200 solar ignition videos. A lot of them are with bottles full of water. Nobody ever asked me where, you know, if you happen to find this bottle with the perfect shape, where are you getting clear enough water? All creeks and lakes are not very clear and it does make a big difference. Yes, we're in an urban environment, but um, everything I do is not survival oriented or 100% survival oriented. Like you would know, there would be some good clear water in the coils of that 100 foot water hose. But let's just go with this and see if that's gonna be clear enough to use. I think that'll be clear enough to use. Let's get a, another container full of it. All right, we'll go ahead and fill up one of my favorite solar igniters. This is a bottle that I found on the walking trail. It looked like, I don't know, one of the local winos had stored it away in the hole in an embankment. Was planning on coming back to uh, get the rest of the beer out of it, but uh, it wasn't there if he ever came back for it. Thought I was gonna to have to go back to the downspout there for a second. All right, and we're just gonna use some of my dry leaves that I have on hand. We're just gonna use some of my char materials that I have on hand. This is not meant to demonstrate how you could do it in a very wet environment in a survival situation. This video is just to get you thinking, well, if I'm gonna use a solar ignition because I found the perfect bottle for solar ignition, this is to just get you thinking, well, I'm gonna need some decent tender, some good dry tender. I'm gonna need some clear enough water. Is it coming out of the stream? Am I gonna catch it off of my tent? The photons will come down through this round through about six or eight inches of water, come back out this round into a focal point. I've found over the years that you don't want to adjust this bottle to where the focal point is out here. Your hottest focal point is always gonna be closest to the bottle. So you're gonna adjust that bottle to where usually turning it towards the sun brings the focal point in closer to the bottle. That's the hottest focal point. And this, this water is not completely clear. So let's just see what'll happen. I see some dirty fingerprints right here.
char cloth, charred punk wood. And once again, I'm without my shades. You do not want to do solar experiments without sunglasses. You need the good sunglasses that can block out the UVA and the UVB rays. Because if you stare at an intense focal point, one that is reflecting a lot of light back into your eyes, you will damage your optic nerve all the way in the back of the eye. If you're doing like I am, just keep looking away uh, every 10, 15 seconds. This is not gonna take long if that water is clear enough. Find it on your finger first. Smell it. It's starting to get very bright, but I want to make sure. Now for some punk wood, charred punk wood. I get the biggest piece out of there. I don't think I have enough sun right here to do it any closer. This might be good right here, right there. That should work. All right, when the sun is straight overhead, you gotta stop tilting, trying to tilt the bottle towards the sun because at that point, the hottest focal point's gonna be tilting it away from the sun. Like right there, that is plenty hot enough to ignite some charred punk wood. And that did not take long. I believe it's ignited. But then again, like I said, that did not take long. I believe it's ignited. All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.